three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Mission Control for another feature focus video. In this video, we're going to discuss DMX settings, ArtNet. The DMX setting window allows you to set how DMX is routed out of the console through the DMX ports, ArtNet, or Streaming ACN. The lines fixtures are patched. You may have more than one output, as well as more than one protocol being used for output at the same time. If DMX settings are wiped on the start of a new show, the outputs A through H will default to lines 1 through 8, depending on the outputs of the console, and all ArtNet and Streaming ASN lines are unassigned. ArtNet may be used with broadcast or unicast, can support up to 32,767 universes. However, Gigabit Ethernet supports approximately 250 before the network becomes saturated. Broadcast and unicast. Broadcast. ArtNet will send all universes to all nodes, and then the device will output the universes it wants to listen to. This requires less setup, but uses more network traffic. Unicast. ArtNet will send packets to only the nodes that need them. This requires more careful setup, but reduces network traffic. Multiple nodes can be assigned per line. The ArtNet specification defines that the first universe is labeled zero. Not all node manufacturers respect this. It may start the first universe at one. Be aware that things don't seem to be working right and check the node manufacturer's information. So let's see this all in action. Here I'm using the Titan mobile interface on version 13. However, it'll be the same for any version of Titan. First thing you want to do is go ahead and press AVO and DISC, or just press the system key if you're using Titan 1 or Titan Go, and then choose DMX settings from our soft keys. We can see here I've got my default settings currently, which is line 1 is going to output A, line 2 to output B, line 3 to output C, and so forth. On the left-hand side of the window, I've got my available DMX nodes, Streaming ACN, ArtNet, DMX Output, and Visualizer DMX. In ArtNet, we can see I've got Broadcast or anything that the console sees to be able to unicast to. In this case, you can see Capture and my IQ Tester as available ArtNet nodes. To assign a unicast line, simply click on it and where you want it to go. In this case, I'll assign Capture Universe 3 to line 3 of my console, and I can now see that I can output line 3 to both DMX output C as well as ArtNet Universe 3. If I wanted to assign my IQ testers Universe 54 to have fixtures on that output node respond to line 1, I can simply patch it here like so. To patch broadcast lines, simply click on ArtNet Broadcast Universe 0. I can then set the quantity if I wish, if I was to assign more than one line at a time. I can set my quantity to say 2 and then click where I wanted it to go. And we see assigned broadcast 0 and 1 to lines 1 and 2. If we want to assign a specific broadcast universe to a line, I simply click where it says Universe Auto and change it to whatever line I want, such as 12. And we can set its quantity to 5 if we wish. And then we can simply click which line we want that to start at. In this case, we'll start on 7. We now see that I have Universe 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 is assigned to line 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Clicking the cog allows you to adjust the ArtNet settings. Those settings are as follows. DMX output allows you to temporarily disable the output. Continuous ArtNet DMX. The ArtNet specification allows the console to only send out changes in the DMX. This setting makes the console send out ArtNet packets continuously, even if there is no change. Always broadcast ArtNet DMX. This sets all ArtNet packets to broadcast mode, meaning they are sent to all nodes. Otherwise, packets are addressed to the specific node they are intended for, which reduces network traffic, but requires more careful setting up the network addresses. Block RDM, if enabled, RDM traffic is blocked on this module. DMX overrun. Some ArtNet nodes ignore changes until they are sent more than once. If this option is enabled, then at least three packets are sent for every change. Legacy mode, if enabled, ArtNet is broadcast continuously from the console at a high rate. This may affect console performance. Ethernet XXX. This selects whether you want this protocol outputting on the Ethernet adapter. If there are multiple adapters in the system, you can select more than one, and identical information will be sent out on each one. So look here on our Titan mobile interface. If we click the cog icon next to ArtNet here, we can see those settings pop up. The DMX output again, we can turn it on or off. We can adjust the continue ArtNet DMX, the always broadcast, the block RDM, the DMX overrun, and the legacy mode. The continuous, the always broadcast, the overrun, and legacy mode are all things you may need to adjust if you're having problems with your ArtNet. Maybe a node isn't responding correctly. Uh, you can try turning these settings on or off to see if it helps your ArtNet nodes restart to respond correctly. As you see here on this 
laptop, I've got an Ethernet port as well as Wi-Fi, so I can send the Artnet out either on the Ethernet the, or the Wi-Fi, or both at the same time. If I was using a console that had multiple Ethernets, they would appear here also. To save this, I can simply close the window. Also, if I click the gear icon next to any Artnet line that's been assigned, I can change its name if I need to, set it to blind or live mode. I can change its universe or its system, as well as the IP address if I need to change it from broadcast to unicast. To save these settings, just simply click out of the DMX window and exit the system menu. So that has been DMX Artnet settings. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe and join us next time. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.